Hello, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some tips on how to create a great supermarket or grocery store design. Let's get started. So the first trick on how to get your bills good is the lighting. So you could have nine different types of light sources. You could either have glowstone, which is the light source that is like yellow and really bright. Then we have the redstone lamp and the redstone torch, which have more of a red glow to it. The redstone lamp is much more powerful. Then we have the shroom light, which is orange, unlike this one, which is yellow, which gives a really nice saturation. Then the sea lantern, has a really cool glow to it, making pretty good for some different builds. Then the torch is a less powerful thing, and other things that are powered by coal, like furnaces, or campfires, or lanterns, or normal fire, basically will have the same type of glow to it. Well, let's go over here, and you see it is basically its own thing. So then we have the soul torches, which are much less powerful than the normal ones, and there are a couple of different varieties. Again, there's soul fires, campfires, lanterns, but there aren't soul furnaces. Next thing is the end rod. The end rod is, well, basically the end stuff. Also, it counts as the end portal because the end portal has a really powerful glow to it. Then we have the lava, and lava is basically its own thing. I would say actually fire goes not really to this one but instead to the lava because it has a similar glow but it's basically kind of different and then finally we have the beacon and that means basically like miscellaneous stuff the beacon does stuff the brewing stand does stuff and basically they all just do lighting for example the nether portal does that too and there are a lot of blocks like this also this counts as natural lighting again a really powerful light source more powerful than any other ones it has the same light level but it does that everywhere unless there's a shade light this one because of this giant thing so now let's go on and for the first thing that i'm going to show you is this block called shroom light shroom light unlike glowstone gives you a much better light source as it uses more of an orange source than a yellow one and looks just much better than just this really pale yellow kind of source. So I'm, we could just make some of these stands like this and they will look really nice. So now let's go on to the next tip. The second thing is the placement of the items that you want to sell. You can do that in a couple of ways. You can use a campfire and place the meat on it but the meat will cook and you will have cooked meat instead of the raw one but there is a way to remove this you can use a water bucket to cool down a campfire then you can also use a sponge a sponge like this to dry up the water then you will have an unlit campfire Using this unlit campfire, you can put some feet, meat on it, and then it won't cook. This is a way you can cook your, you can show sell your meat without having to cook it and it to go off. Then we have item frames that you can also put the thing you are selling in your store on. So these are the two ways you can place items. Now let's end. Now I have finished making all of these things turned into shroom light. And let's place a little protective wall around our water source because we are going to be using some water to take out some campfires. And I will show you it right now. All we need to do is get a water bucket and we can get a campfire. So what we can do in one of the corner of our stores is place some campfire like this. 
then it gets really dusty, so just tr try to extinguish all of these campfires like this. Then all of the campfires should be extinguished. And now let's get some sponge and dry it up. So this is what the protective wall is for. It's just if you don't want to get something in there, then you don't have to. So this is actually another thing that you can do. So let's take some food stuff and we can get some, well, some raw meat and, well, maybe some, let's see. Maybe you could even get some fish and you can place them on this like thing and you can sell food like this okay so now I finished we have five different types of meat right here and this is it for this aisle now the next really cool feature that you could use for a supermarket is a barrel barrels are a pretty cool thing to store your items in and well, you can use them like this and basically make a thing where you can store the main part of the food and the other parts are just for display. You can't really actually pick any of them up, so this is mostly for display. But the barrels are the actual storage part. Now, I'm going to just use these barrels and fill up these five aisles. Now, then, we are going to go to the next thing. Next up, we, I made a seafood section. So we have some kelp, salmon, and cod at the section. There's not much other seafood like puffer fish because it cannot be placed on the, this, uh, on the campfire that is turned off. But the next thing we're gonna be making is a bakery. And the bakery is pretty simple. We just need a row and then we need some places to go in. So we can use this fence gate and we should be able to get in. Now, for the bakery, we will need some well, different stuff. We need bread. We will actually need four things for this. We will need bread. We will need cake. We will need cookies. And we will need pumpkin pie. So those are the four things you need to do and there is actually a trick to how you can just place items on this, like just flat on, without anything. So now, let's do it. The next thing you could do is name items, and so they will do so. Now, you can use an anvil, then open it up, and place, for example, the grass block. You can rename it to grass. Once we do that, we can place a barrel where we want to sell our items, place an item frame on it, and the grass. It will actually say what we're selling. And if we want, we can place some of the items inside, and we will actually have a working barrel with stuff on it. Now let's go on to this next trick. And this is the command you need to type in for this to work. So, now you get an item frame. But when you place it down, you can't see it. Where did it go? You can break it. So, then, actually, let me show you here. You can place anything on it. So, for cake, we actually can just place it down like this. But then, for the other things, like cookies, we can't. So, let's actually place some item frames here and place some cookies right here. So, the cookies are okay, but maybe you want something else. So, we can, again, use the item frames and we can have some pumpkin pie over here. Then, we can also use this and we could have bread on it and maybe some more bread over here. So now I made this so you can place some fruits onto the barrels. So let's do it to a couple of fruits, like 
chicken and vegetables. So we can have the apples here, the beetroot here, some sweet berries, then we have some potatoes, and you have to place the item frames if you want to actually do these. So we have some potatoes here, then we can place some melons, and then, well, that should be it, but we still have one here. So this could be the carrots. And now I just finished with all of the fruit labeling. And yeah, they are pretty much ready. So the next thing we do need to do is we need to make a dairy aisle. So the next thing is that for the dairy aisle, we need to actually get some dairy products. But unfortunately, Minecraft only has one, and that is milk. But we can make some more by renaming. For example, snowballs could be, I don't know, maybe, maybe something like butter or anything else. But technically, we could use it like this. Or we could try to find something that is better. For example, like, I don't really know, but we could just use bricks for it or something else. Like, for example, this could be butter if you rename it and well you could use this for your shop so now i finished up with the dairy section and what we have here is some cheese with our rename from sunflowers actually a second bonus to using an anvil to rename things is that they will have well a name tag when you look at them this is butter this is milk and this is yogurt for the dairy section. Now let's go on to the candy section. For the candy section, we could use something known as glazed terracotta. And if we place it in the correct pattern, which I did not do, then we, now I did, then we will get a shape something like this. After that, we could take some barrels and place them over the main part. If you want to place a barrel on a barrel like this, then all you have to do is just sneak and you will get that barrel in. So then we could place some more item frames. And this, for example, could be old apples. The next thing I did is make some pop-up stands. For example, here I'm selling cocoa powder. Here, sugar. Here, are mushrooms. Here I'm selling eggs. And here I'm selling potato chips. Or actually, it's baked potato, but they do look like the chip. potato chips a little bit. So these are the pop-up stands with something inside them. Now let's go on to the cash register. And for this, we could use any type of block. I'm just gonna use some polished andesite. It looks pretty nice. And I'm gonna remove these two blocks, placing two more in. I am also gonna do this on the other side. Now, some things that are really cool about the game is that you could get an ember chest. And the ender chest is actually a really amazing thing where you can actually just pay for anything by doing this. You could also place some kind of block that looks like a scanner. For example, something like an acacia log, which is gray on the outside, and but not on the like top. Or maybe something else. But I'm just gonna use these things. So you pay for it by doing this. And on the other side, we're actually going to just do a normal chest. Or maybe we could do a trap chest for like to count how much people paid for. But this is a chest and this is an end chest. Now we can do the same thing for the other side. And we are basically done with our store. If you want, you can actually modify it as well, basically anything you want. I just showed you some tips on making the store, for example, these things, invisible item frames, some lighting tips, and, well, basically this, and, yeah. So, now let's go. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you didn't watch my previous video, please do that. 
and I'll see you tomorrow for another video.